Now we'll go into an exercise to configure the theme. At the end of this exercise, we will have learned the following, how to add portlet decorators to the theme, including adding configuration files and styling for portlet decorators. And then we'll also learn how to add custom theme settings, which includes adding theme settings, creating theme setting variables, and adding free marker files and styling for theme settings. Here are the steps that we'll be taking in this exercise. First, we'll add web in files to the theme. We'll add portlet decorators. We'll add SAS stylings for the portlet decorators, and then custom theme settings to the theme XML. We'll also add custom variables in the init custom file, add social media icons to the theme footer, add the code to the social media, a free marker file, add a SAS styling social media icons, and then we'll deploy the theme to see the JavaScript changes. Well, after this exercise, there will be some bonus exercises that I won't be going through, but that you can try for yourself. And this includes adding a custom portlet decorator for the Livingston Fjord theme, or including a color scheme variation in the Livingston Fjord theme. And with this, let's get into the exercise. So now we'll configure the theme to provide administrative options. The first step is to copy the web in files to the theme. And so we'll open up our exercise folder as well as our Livingston Fjord source folder. We'll come into the exercise source, the web in folder, and we'll copy all of the contents into that of our web in folder for our Livingston Fjord theme. And so we see that there's two files with the same name. We already replaced live free look and feel, so we can go ahead and do that again. But for a library plugin package, we will definitely have to replace it. Now we'll add in the portlet decorators. And so we'll open up our Visual Studio Code editor, and then we'll open up our Livingston theme. And we'll drag in library look and feel into Visual Studio. We'll highlight the comment that says portlet decorators at the bottom. And then we'll type in LFR to view the available snippets. And then we'll find one where it says 01 portlet decorators. Choose that one, and then we'll save this file. We'll also add some SAS styling for the portlet decorator. And so going back to our theme folder, we'll navigate up into CSS, then portlet. And then we'll find the portlet decorator partials file. We'll drag this into Visual Code Studio, and then we'll highlight the comment and type in LFR, portlet decorator as CSS, and then we'll save this file as well. From here, we'll then add some custom theme settings into the theme XML. And so we'll go back into our Livingston Fjord, we'll go into source, navigate to web inf, and then we'll drag in life ray look and feel into to our Visual Studio Code editor. We'll highlight insert snippet 02 theme settings, and then we'll type in LFR to see the snippets. And then we'll choose 02 theme settings right here. If you don't see it, you might have to type in a few more characters. Then we'll save the following. Now we'll add in some custom variables in the init custom file. So we'll go back into our theme and then we'll scroll up into source and then templates. From here, we'll find the init custom partials file and drag this into our Visual Code Studio editor. We'll highlight 06, insert snippet custom settings over here. And then we'll type in LFR to see the available snippets. From here, we'll choose FTL 06 init custom settings. And we'll save this file. Now we'll find the social media icons and add that to the theme footer. So we'll go back to our templates and then we'll find footer FTL, drag this into our editor. We'll find 07, the comment containing 07 social portlet normal here. And then we'll type in LFR. We'll replace this with 07 social portal normal. We'll save this file. Now we'll have to add code to the social media free marker file. 
So we'll go over here again into our theme and then drag in social media into our editor. Type in LFR. And then we'll choose 08 social media footer. Save this file as well. Now we'll add some SAS styling to the social media icons. So we'll go back up here to source, to a CSS partials, and then we'll drag in the footers partial into our Visual Studio Code editor. And then from here, we find the comment that says 10 social media footer. We'll highlight it, type in LFR, and replace this with the one that says 10 social media footer. We'll save this file as well. And with all of these changes now, we'll have to deploy the theme to see the changes. So I'll open up our terminal again. We'll use the deploy command, npm run deploy. So take a couple of moments and we can go back to our terminal window containing our LifeRay instance. From here, we see that the Livingston Fjord theme started.